Hello, my name is Bo Up. I built this car right here. All right, we're here. We made it to Bohuff Car Show, and right behind me is one of the most famous cars that he ever built, ever. It's called the Bad Boy Merc. And uh, my band used to play, this used to be in the museum a long time ago, and my band used to play in there with it and stuff. And uh, it's been a long time since so this car's been here again. It just got recently got bought, and it came back here. So now, here it is. So this car is one of the most famous cars Bohuff has ever really done. It goes back to the early 80s, the mid 80s, I think. When it was built you can see it's got some 80s touches in there wood grain steering wheel and stuff but this is definitely one of the ones that got him on the map for sure this car is beautiful and uh junior huff his son just got it back um and they're gonna do some work to it and uh it was gone for many many years it got sold a couple times and now it's back here um where it belongs got the stacked headlights I've always said, I've always said this about this car, that car, it belongs in a movie. It really does. It really belongs in a movie sometime. It'd be really cool to see it in a movie one day. Right here is a couple more cars that Bohuff did. This is his sister Carolyn's car. I believe this is the first Mercury Bo ever chopped. This is a beautiful, beautiful car right here. Color. color of this is beautiful. So Bull told me one time he was drinking a glass of wine and he put it up on the windowsill and the light that was shining through was this color and he, he custom mixed this color over and over and over until he got that perfect color that he wanted from the wine glass that he had. Beautiful 57. Showtime is another uh, car that Bull built. This is also another Bohuff Custom. This car used to be green, and the family also just got it back. I believe Willie owns it now. And uh, this is another beautiful car. If I can, I'll try and find the original picture of it and put it on here. It was a beautiful green color. And what dead gives it away are the headlights and the bumperettes that he does like that. Bo's really known for doing that. Funny story about this little hot red right here is I almost bought this from Bohuff's son, uh, Kendall, a long time ago, and I should have did it. I had the money and I really should have did it. It wasn't quite finished, but it was already painted and pretty much put together. It just needed finished. And uh, I almost bought it. I was real close one day um, and kind of kicking myself now that looking at it, I should have bought it. <laughs> the frame is actually Z'd, so there's actually a lot of leg room in here. It doesn't look like it, but the frame goes down. So it's got the original floorboard in it. So there's plenty of room in there, even for me. So it makes it a, really cool because there's plenty of room in there, even for me. I've uh, sat in this truck many a times um, and really kicking myself now looking at it. I really should have bought this truck when I had the chance.
first bought it, uh -huh. this is a 5060 soda. And was it already custom like this? Yes, it was. Yep, the top shot four inches, the bed shortened 11 and a half inches. And it's pretty much the way, the way I bought it. That's awesome. Yeah. And you still have that, it was in a magazine. Yeah, it was in a magazine in 54, I think it was. So Hot right before you bought it. Hot Rod, yes, Hot Rod magazine. That's awesome. There's a page, page of it on the window. There. And where did you, uh, where did you buy it? From, from the guy that built it in Denver. In Denver? Yep. That's awesome, man. So there it is in the magazine, 1954. Yeah. That is way cool. This is Hot Rod magazine? Yes, it is. And that's the that's dude to build it. Oh, cool. Yeah. And you've owned it since then, wow. Yeah. I was in high school, I graduated from high school in 56, and when I found the car, it was uh, I, the truck, but I found it in 55, and I paid payments on it while I was still in high school. <laughs> and and then the, uh, in 50, the end of 55, I had the rest of the cash to buy it from him. Nice. Yeah. Did you drive it a lot then? All, all, all the time. All the time, I bet, huh? Yeah, every day. I bet it was a head turner. It was. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. was it in, did you take it to Grand Junction or were you in Denver still? I was still in Denver. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the paint job was on, it's got, you can't see it too much anymore. It's the still original paint that the guy painted it with. Uh -huh. It's a 40 shift maroon. If you look at the firewall, this is more red. Oh, okay. But it's faded out into this tan color. It's a 40 shift maroon with a gold metal flake in it. Nice. And it had 20 coats of lacquer on top of that. Wow. <laughs> so this is the same paint job it had on it for all these years. Yeah, so this was a gorgeous truck when you got it. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like brand new. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is so cool, man. It's got dual glass pack mufflers on it. Sounds mean. Yeah. Runs mean. Yeah. Yeah. Big old Hemi in there. Yeah. Man, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. In the, with the, the Hemi that was in it when I first bought it in 1955, the guy clocked it to Denver Speedway. So it was 87 miles an hour. <laughs> that's pretty good back that then. That is pretty good, yeah. yeah. That's, that's really good. That's pretty good. That's the same bed cover it had on it, same upholstery job still in it. <laughs> wow, man. And these tires, we wanted these wide sight walls because this is what was on it when I bought it. Yeah. Yeah. Makes the white walls cool. got to stay. Yeah, yeah. They have to stay, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm a big believer in old cars with white walls. Yeah. I love it. These chains used to have a, a, a dog hide cover over them. Oh, they did? Yeah, I didn't put that back on them. It needs a little TLC. That's some those bumpers I think are off of 46 Ford. 46 Ford bumpers? Yeah. You just don't see very many Survivor hot rods anymore, so this one's really, really cool. I've always wanted to look at this truck and uh, get an interview with it. All right, so I'm here with my friend Sammy. Hello. We videoed this car quite a few years ago now, but now she's looking a lot different. What have you done? Uh, what's, just, what's different, Sam? Well, we painted it, we pinstriped it, did body work on it. Um, that was it. Yeah, and now you drive it? And now I drive it. Drive it around. It's right-hand awesome. drive. Um, it's got a 350 small block Chevy in it. Um, Cadillac rear end, Dodge body, board frame. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. And then I th I'm going to make Cameron make me a little cute little trailer and hook it up right here. Oh, sweet. So I can put my cooler and a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have your beer, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right hand drive. People freak out when they see you driving yeah, it like that? all the time. Do they? <laughs> all the time. Breaking necks. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. <laughs> Interior's cool. All right. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, thank you.
So this is another Bohuff Custom. This car is actually, I actually got to drive this car one day. Um, little flathead. Back when I used to work with Bo, used to let me pull them out and stuff like that and get them ready. That's a wicked cool monster shifter there. Rat Fink style.
uh, Sunnyside, Utah, middle of nowhere. And I love this show. We've been coming here for years and I brought the whole family with us. And the Monster Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, uh, I see a lot of Mercury's and I'm not knocking anyone because it's all cool, but I, I, I am proud that God gave me a brain to come up with my own ideas instead of just keep copycatting everybody. And you know, the proof is in the pudding. Bo Huff was inducted into the National Rod and Custom Car Hall of Fame, the Custom Camps Hall of Fame, and the Customs of America Hall of Fame for his life's work. In addition, the annual Bohuff Rockabilly Car Show continues to be held in Sunnyside, Utah, along with the Huff Aroma Car Show held in San Bernardino, California, coming up in October. Long live our friend, Mr. Bohuff. Mm -hmm.